back to like everybody's familiar with the analogy of rocks, pebbles and sand, right? And trying to fit them all into a glass jar. And so many business owners I speak to are obsessed with the sand. The sand seems to be all that matters to them. Um, sand doesn't move your business along. Um, pebbles, you know, sometimes we get the pebbles done. We might, we might accomplish a couple of pebbles being broken down on a daily basis. But the rocks just seem to languish. And it's because we don't want to do them. We, you know, we see the big hard tasks there. We assume we don't have the skill set. We don't have the money to pay someone to do it for us. We, we don't really want to have to time to take the time to learn to do it. So we don't do them. And there, and as a result, we don't move forward as a business. And the first thing I advise anyone is, is kind of just break, like break a rock every single day, put them on your jobs list, get them done, get it done first thing, eat that frog. There's another analogy, like get them out of the way and done with, because by doing that, you're moving yourself one step ahead of the competition because the competition won't bother to do them. The competition will be sitting back like you are playing with sand. It's very much about getting those, getting those uncomfortable things done. And the more uncomfortable things you get done, the more likely you are to differentiate yourself and, and achieve some form of success, wherever that looks like. So I can, yeah, I can, I can definitely gel with, with uh, a lot of what you've said there, Nick, I think. To come back to the second part a little bit more, I think that part can be quite hard. And, I, and that's where I tell a lot of people is, you know, sometimes you need an outside perspective. When you think of a novelist, a novelist doesn't write their own blurb on their dust jacket cover. They get somebody to come in, read through the book and then summarize it in three paragraphs because with the best will in the world, you don't know what, what the micro details are because you're so lost in the weeds of whatever you're doing. Same with messaging sometimes as well, when we, when we look back to what you said in that first part, um, you know, sometimes it's very, very hard to succinctly talk about our own business. And I know it's something I had to get external support with in terms of how I talk about what we do in a way that people resonate with on how to create an emotional connection to, oh, I understand what problem they solve. Actually, my biggest pet here is when I look on LinkedIn and somebody's headline starts with, I help, I'm gone switched off i'm done everybody helps someone that's the whole point like i help you just wasted two words of your of, of five that, that that are really really important to you stop stop trying to tell people that you help them and just tell them how you help them but like there's lots more to it than just 